Hello friends, welcome back to Smartphone World. If you are owner of Mi TV series and have no clue on how to cast games, videos from your phone to TV screen, we got you covered. In this video, I will share all the details you need to know on how to cast any Android phone to Mi TV or other smart TV. Subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you don't miss our full Mi TV 4A review. Xiaomi's Mi TV looks great for the price but it lacks a few key essential features. The new Mi TV doesn't have an app store. Secondly, it lacks Chromecast built-in support and instead features Miracast. You can share your screen to Mi TV using two ways, one using Miracast and other using DLNA service. If you are an owner of Xiaomi phone, you can mirror your phone to a Mi TV seamlessly with just a few taps. The first and foremost step is to check if both the devices you are trying to connect are on the same Wi-Fi network. On your Mi TV, navigate to Settings, Security and tap on the option that says Mi Cast Settings and turn on Stream from your device to TV option. Now open the More folder on your TV and you can see an app called Wireless Display. If you open this app, it will search for connection with compatible devices. I am using the Redmi Note 5 Pro. You can use any of your Xiaomi phone. Just navigate to Settings, More and toggle on the Wireless Display option. Now tap on the Mi TV option to connect your device to Mi TV. This will instantly mirror your phone's display to the TV. I love to play PUBG Mobile on big screen using this feature. Just check out the video I made on PUBG Mobile tricks which may help you to get those chicken dinners. Though this is a hassle free way to connect your phone to Mi TV, this process also has its own set of flaws. For instance, screen mirroring will guzzle more battery life since the phone screen needs to be on on all times. There are occasional shutters and delays in casting your phone to screen but in no way it hinders your big screen experience. So what if you don't have a Mi phone? Are you screwed? No, don't worry, this is not an Apple ecosystem. There are other ways to connect your device to Mi TV. Mi A1 is a Google One device and it does not have wireless display options like Xiaomi phones. Most of the phones manufactured after 2012 will be Miracast certified. I will leave a link in description where you can check if your device supports Miracast. If your phone has screencast option, follow these steps. In Mi A1, I use Screencast and in case of Galaxy S8, I use Smart View to connect to my Mi TV. Keep the wireless display app open on your Mi TV. In your mobile, go to Settings and choose Cast option. Enable wireless display option and you can now automatically see your Mi TV listed. Just click on the icon and your screen will be casted to your Mi TV. In my S8, I used Smart View to connect to Mi TV. You can also use a Miracast app. I will leave a link in description to download the app. Mi TV also supports DLNA standard for home appliances to connect devices and stream media. To enable Digital Living Network Alliance, in short, DLNA on your Mi TV, navigate to Settings, Security and toggle the DLNA service on. I tried numerous apps which support DLNA service but each app had their own set of flaws. The best DLNA service app for Android in my opinion is Allcast. The download link for the app will be in the description. Just download and install Allcast app on your Android phone. Launch the Allcast app and it will automatically detect your Mi TV if DLNA is enabled on your Mi TV. Now select the media from your phone and you can enjoy the content on big screen. The problem is you cannot cast your screen using this app. You can only watch the photos and videos from your phone on TV. If you have any problems casting your device to your TV, share them in the comments below. I'll be happy to help you guys. Hope you guys find these screencasting tricks useful. If so, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more tech and gaming videos. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video and you guys have a great day.